Doug Hutchison is the film and TV actor, best known for his role alongside Tom Hanks in the Oscar-nominated drama The Green Mile. Have a look. We got a dead man walking here. Dead man walking. We got a dead man walking here. For a second. It's enough. From there, the actor became a regular on our screens with roles in Lost, uh, The X-Files and I Am Sam. But this Hollywood fairy tale doesn't have a happy ending. In his new memoir, Doug details the rise and demise in Tinseltown, his rise and demise, giving a first-hand account of working alongside A-listers like Sandra Bullock, Leonardo DiCaprio, Sean Penn, Jamie Foxx and Samuel L. Jackson. The book also takes us inside the star's controversial marriage at age 50 to 16-year-old Courtney. If there's only one uh, caveat to our the ocean between our age difference. I wished I was a virgin when we met. <laughs> and because I think it's... I, it's fine that he wasn't. He's good. <laughs> Whatever. It's a tiger. So the couple received major backlash for their uh, union but remained uh, on a united front. And that is until their recent divorce. And Doug Hutchison joins us live from Sacramento this morning. Morning to you, Doug. Uh, you're, hey, Kylie, hi. Hey, Larry. Morning. Thanks you're, for having me on. Your book is called Flushing Hollywood, Fake News, Fake Boobs. Uh, you haven't yes. held back in this one little bit. Why was it important to tell your story? Um, it's important. Um, it, it was just time, you know. It was time to tell the truth. Um, and I've been lying dormant for a little bit. So I've been working on this book for a while. And I guess um, I wrote it for um, a plethora of reasons, but I think the main reason was to set myself free. Um, because, you know, the old um, adage, um, the truth shall set you free. And so I decided it's time to tell the truth. And, I, and so I do in my book. Okay, so there's your own truth and then there's the truth about other people. And nothing was off limits in this memoir of yours, including an intimate chat no. in the bathrooms with Tom Hanks, your co-star yes. in The Green Mile. So talk us through that yeah. episode. Okay, um, that particular chapter is called, Hey Folks, Tom Hanks Poop Stinks Too. And uh, in a nutshell, um, I was extremely nervous going to our first read-through for The Green Mile, right? I'm sitting at a table with Tom Hanks and James, James, Crom James Cromwell, Bonnie Hunt, all of these amazing movie stars I'd only seen on the screen, and I'm, I'm nervous as heck. And um, on the break, after we read through the first act, um, and then on our break, we all went our separate ways to uh, go to the bathroom, go, go munch on some food, go outside and smoke if you're a smoker. I happened that ne I needed to pee like a racehorse, so I went into the restroom, and um, as I was taking care of business at the urinal, um, this smell wafted over me, and it was really uh, a a a horrific, and um, I couldn't wait to get out of the bathroom because <laughs> somebody was in. Yeah, somebody was in the stall uh, next to me taking care of business. Um, I heard the toilet flush. And um, eventually the door opened and out walks Tom, H Tom Hanks. And as we're washing up at the sink, he turned to me and he said, um, hey, I think you're going to make a hell of a Percy. And I said, thanks, Tom. And he left. And I stood there looking at myself in the mirror and I thought, well, I'll be darned. Tom Hanks' poop stinks too. And from that point on, I went out into the, the, the reading and I wasn't intimidated anymore. I thought, from that point on, no more celebrities or anyone in the business intimidated me because I thought, we're all the same, all of us. We're all sitting on the same toilet seats. We're using the same toilet paper. And yeah. uh, I don't think anybody's poop smells like roses. Well, that is, uh, that is quite a way to learn a lesson. <laughs> That's one, that's, one take. That's, that's one chapter of your book. Right. You've been highly critical of some Hollywood heavyweights in the book. I mean, have you heard mm -hmm. from any of them? I mean, these are really big names. Are you worried about backlash? I'm not worried about backlash because I believe when you tell the truth, it is the truth. 
Um, so it's fearless when you tell the truth. It's very empowering. And quite frankly, my book is never, by the way, although there are some salacious stories in it, there are, it's never mean-spirited. Uh, it's not a bitter book. Um, and so, because I'm not, I'm not bitter, I'm not well, mean-spirited. Well, so there's a lot of... Doug, mm -hmm. you, you do take aim at several of your co-stars, Uma Thurman, Alicia Silverstone, Mila Djokovic, George Clooney, and a quote from your book, and it says, and this is your quote, these Hollywood sex symbols look like roadkill before the makeup chair. Yeah. That's not very Yeah, nice. that wasn't... Well, I don't know if it... I wouldn't qualify it as nice or not. I, if you read... If you take it out of context, it does sound like that, but what I'm trying to... Um, uh, convey in that section of my book is when I was on Batman and Robin I went into the makeup room and I started looking at the before and after pictures and I couldn't believe that all of these sex symbols um, like Uma Thurman and George Clooney and uh, Chris O'Donnell and those people that were in the movie I, I realized that you know what I wanted to let people know who maybe don't that movie stars don't look like that. They look like us. Everybody looks the same when they get out of bed before the makeup, before the lights, before, um, you know, all of yeah. the, the prep work. Okay. So that's what I meant by that. Oh, it wasn't a personal this, thing. This, this, is, this is great news, <laughs> yes. Doug, because now I know that uh, my poop probably smells like Tom Hanks. And I look like George Clooney after makeup. It's this is all coming around kind of good. <laughs> you, we, we have to talk about your marriage to Courtney. Um, yeah. You were 50. She was 16 mm -hmm. at the time. We interviewed you both back in uh, Hollywood mm -hmm. back about years eight ago, years ago. Yeah. There, there are a lot of people yeah. really uncomfortable with this, but you were very, mm -hmm. very comfortable uh, in this space telling this story. Uh, how did you get together in the first place? I'm sorry. Say again. How did you get together, you two? Um, we got together through a mutual friend um, and just started emailing each other. Um, and she was in Washington State, I was in Hollywood, and we just got to know each other through email. I didn't know uh, her true age until later on in the correspondence. Because when I initially went to Courtney's website, and I mean, you, you met Courtney as well back then, um, I, I pegged her to be like everyone else, probably in her late. 20s, uh, just the way she looked, the way she carried herself. And so when her real age was revealed to me, I, I, it was like a, a nuclear bomb went off. It was like a, I couldn't believe it. Hmm. Um, at that point, though, it was, it was too late. We'd already fallen for each other. And I'm hoping in my book, um, Kylie and Larry, that uh, I, can, I can reveal another side to a lot of misconceptions about that marriage. And by the way, we were married. Um, yeah. um, so I, I, I want to I allow people, and you can, make, you can come to your own conclusions after you read the book, but I want to allow people in on the details of how we got together, what we endured when we were together, and that whole trip, mm -hmm. because it was a very unconventional um, situation. Yes. The but, book is called uh, yeah. Flushing Hollywood, uh, full of tales like the uh, Tom Hanks one that we uh, were able to elaborate on. Well, we can skip that there. chapter now because we know that. <laughs> uh, the book Flushing Hollywood by Doug Hutchison is out March 10.